Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing some tips for presenting and analyzing your dissertation data. We know that this can be a daunting task, but we're here to help make it a little bit easier for you. So let's jump right into it. Tip number one, organize your data. Before you even begin analyzing your data, it's important to make sure that it's organized in a way that makes sense to you. This means that you should have a clear understanding of what each variable represents and how they can relate. If your data is not organized, it will be much harder to make sense of it when it comes time to analyze it. Tip number two, use appropriate analytical tools. Depending on the type of data you have collected, there are a variety of analytical tools that you can use to make sense of it. For example, if you have quantitative data, you might use descriptive statistics or regression analysis. Make sure you select the appropriate analytical tools for your data. Tip number three, create clear and concise visuals. Once you have analyzed your data, you will need to present your findings in a way that is easy to understand. One way to do this is by creating visual representations of your data. You can use graphs, charts, or tables to summarize your findings. Be sure to accurately represent your data. Tip number four, provide context and interpretation. When presenting your data, it's important to provide context so that your audience can understand your ideas. This might mean discussing the theoretical implications of your findings or comparing your results to previous studies in the field. Tip number five, practice your presentation. Once you have organized, analyzed, and interpreted your data, it's time to present it. Practice your presentation in advance so that you are comfortable with your material. Consider rehearsing in front of a mirror or with a friend or family member to get feedback and improve your delivery. And there you have it, folks, our top tips for presenting and analyzing your dissertation data. These five tips can help make this daunting task a little bit easier. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to learn how to finish your dissertation in six months or less.